Hello, and welcome to another edition of Coffee Talk with immigration attorney Brian D. Lerner. Um, in this particular episode, I'd like to talk about a particular visa that is not very popular. A lot of people don't know about it, but sometimes, uh, depending on the situation, it is the only visa that is available, and it is the uh, only one that could perhaps give you uh, legal status. So what is this visa? It is called the S visa. And the title of it essentially is giving a visa for one who is a material witness uh, in any particular federal investigation. So for example, let's say that you know a lot about uh, the drug cartels in Mexico. Let's even say that you were part of the drug cartels in Mexico. And for whatever reason, you might have gotten caught. You might have escaped. You might have fled because of something happening over there in order to come into the U.S. Um, there's different scenarios. Um, but let's say that you uh, are in agreement with the FBI to testify against uh, your bosses or to testify against the coyotes or the people who uh, transport other people in the U.S. Uh, on behalf of the drug cartel. Um, and I'm just giving you one example. It could be all, all kinds of different things. But when you are called to testify as a material witness, meaning essentially, that you're going to help their case. And without you, um, they may not have a case or their case may certainly not be as strong. Now, the S visa um, allows you uh, to come in to get legal status for a certain period of time and then to proceed after that. So the government is not likely to tell you about the S visa. Honestly, they, they want your testimony. They want to win the case, and then they want to say goodbye, okay? So when I get notification from a client that they're going to either be brought into the U.S. Uh, to testify, you know, they're given uh, what's called the 212-D5 parole into the United States, uh, or they're already here and they're going to testify, or... They have lots of good information that they think will help the government. That's when the flags go up that the S visa is a possibility in which to go forward. Now, an S visa can be granted uh, regardless of, for example, the types of crimes you may have committed, the number of times you may have been deported, the number of times you may have come into the United States illegally, the number of times that you have a crime, been deported, and or come, you know, came back into the U.S., all three of them, uh, it's, it's wide-ranging on the issuance of the S visa. Now, the difficulty with the S visa is that you need cooperation from the government in order to get the process going. For example, if you're going to be testifying against you know, whoever, and the FBI has contacted you to do this. Well, the FBI has to agree to sign off on the S visa in order to get the process moving. Now, they're just not going to voluntarily do it. That's just a fact. They really don't care much about helping you. They just want you to help them. So if I get notification from the material witness uh, either before the testimony is due or when the testimony is occurring, then that's the best possible time to negotiate with the government about the S visa because you've got a lot of leverage before you give the testimony. I mean, the reality is, for example, if you're in Mexico and they're agreeing to parole you into the United States to be a material witness, you don't have to come. I mean, the subpoena power of the federal government does not extend to non-citizens living outside the United States. You could just say, sorry, no, don't feel like it. Um, and so you have a lot of leverage in which to use in this particular case 
to get the S visa. So before you give your testimony, before you have helped the case that they're trying to make, before they win the case based on your testimony, is the best time to negotiate with the government to agree to give the S visa. Now, and again, they can't actually issue the S visa, but there's lots of paperwork that they have to sign off on in order to move forward. Now, you know, if it comes through my firm, we basically prepare everything and just stick it in front of the uh, FBI agent or whomever uh, to sign and to go from there. So the S visa is a very nice visa if you happen to fit within the particular parameters of what qualifies for an S visa. So if, you, if you're interested or you feel that you are in this type of situation, give my office a call. I'll be happy to give you a consult, let you know what can be done and so forth. Uh, more on the coming videos. If you like this video, click like, subscribe, and we'll go from there. Thank you.